So pretty much everyone knows who Greta Thunberg is by now, but you might also be reading about a fellow teenager making a name for herself in the political world, one who's set to take the stage at CPAC. Let's bring in Naomi Zeit. She's a 19-year-old from Germany whose willingness to ask questions has earned her a spot at CPAC tomorrow. It's good to have you here, Naomi. So you have been hired by the Center for Climate and Environmental Policy, um, and you have a, just a different view about climate. What is it about the current narrative that kind of drives you crazy? Well, it's mostly that there is so much fear mongering going on uh, about this entire climate change propaganda that is being put out there. And uh, I hate to see so many young people especially uh, panicking about climate change, about a topic that they haven't even done their research about. Um, because many young people, they claim to know, know a lot about the science, but they really don't. And I tried approaching those young people in my own town and from all over the world, and most of them don't really know what they are talking about and they are just so fearful of what's to come and I want to give them back their hope. How did you learn about climate change, climate science and what you think could be done to try to tackle the problem? Well I myself uh, used to be a climate alarmist if you will and um, I only started really looking into the topic uh, in the beginning of 2019 so last year and um, after a while I just became really fascinated with the topic because uh, I've always loved science myself and I took part in many science competitions at school and quite successfully so and um, so this was uh, this really was a passion of mine uh, to look deeper into this topic and I watched many uh, presentations speeches by scientists professors from all over the world and um, this is how I really got into all of this. And I also like public speaking and um, talking about uh, different political issues uh, on my YouTube channel, for example. Yeah, that's how it all started. So how, like, so what is your goal? You're gonna be at CPAC, you're gonna have a chance to talk there. Um, what about this panic? Do you, in, in, back in your hometown, do you find that your message is received well or do you not have a lot of friends out there? Oh, that's very difficult indeed, especially in my own hometown, uh, because the Green Party is very strong there and um, many young people go to Fridays for Future protests every single week and I gave a speech there two weeks ago um, and there were thousands of people um, around my age protesting outside against this event. and. Um, that is, that is a very strange feeling, uh, mm -hmm. especially when you're labeled a climate denier, which is such a heavy term. Because you, uh, you are not yeah. a denier. You think climate change is real. Um, I absolutely believe that climate change is real. Um, you, don't, you shouldn't ask the question, is climate change real? Because climate change has always been real. The climate has been changing for millions and billions of years. Mm -hmm. But what you should actually be asking is, um, are, are, are humans actually mm -hmm. destroying the planet uh, with man-made CO2 emissions? And, um, and your position not, on that yeah. is what? My position on that is no, CO2 emissions are not actually harmful to the planet um, because um, if you want, I can, I can talk a bit uh, no, more thoroughly No, that's okay. We don't have enough time okay. to get into all of it. I just wanted to make sure. So it's not that you think that climate yeah. change is real, but you, but you believe that humans have no contribution to climate change? They might contribute slightly, uh, but I think it's so insignificant that I, we shouldn't focus on that. And especially, uh, we should not rush uh, to, um, to solutions that are really not sustainable in the right. long term. Yeah, I hear you. That I hear is you. The well, main good issue. luck at your speech, Naomi Seid. Thank you so much for being on. Thank you so much for having me. Okay.